Well, hello there. My husband told me to expect you, so I threw on the glad rags. I used to take any excuse to socialize, do the best parties this backwards island has ever seen. But that coach turned into a pumpkin a long, long time ago. Now I just share this old pile with all my cats and all the ghosts. Even move the furniture down to give them the run of the upstairs and the view from those big windows. Oh, it was a peach of a view when I shared it with Ed. The peach trees are rotten through now. Things started changing with Ed back in that cold, cold summer of 71. Even before the ruckus with the Indians over that damned hole in the ground. Blue Ridge. Something happened up there. Started eating away at him, but he wouldn't admit to it. When he came home, if he came home at all, he shut himself in his study with all the books and maps. And he shut me out. And then there was the incident with the Indians. Ed didn't mean to kill anyone. It was self-defense, but he was tormented by it. He couldn't sleep. He suffered night terrors. He'd stay up, always scribbling in his books, on magazine covers, on the tablecloths, on the walls. I could hear this incessant scratching in the dead of night. After a while, I stopped asking him to come back to bed. I never did figure out where he kept all that writing. When his crew was found dead in the mine, it was the straw that broke the camel's neck, so to speak. I found him hanging in the attic. His face was the color of a ripe plum. But that's not how I remember him. Not how I want to remember him. He was a good man, my Ed. A good husband. A good friend. There's no shortage of secrets in this house, but... Ed's lost his way, and his mind. Says he once knew how to put it all together, but he's just broken memories now. None of them good. Says the dreams came through and ate him up, and unless something is done, they'll eat us all. Says it's all in here somewhere, but he can't remember where. death stared back. I thought I was ready. I thought it would solve everything. Death stared back. I thought I was ready. I thought it would solve everything. And death stared back. I thought I was ready. I thought it would solve everything. <laughs> 